Good morning. Welcome back to the Double M Farm. I have had quite a few requests to do a more in-depth look at how I adapted the Harbor Freight load handler pickup truck unloader to my trailer. Didn't realize there'd be so many people interested in adapting one of these to a trailer. I showed a video, posted a video a few weeks back showing it unloading a load of dirt but of course it was full of dirt and you couldn't really see how I had adapted it. So I'm going to see if I can do this. Um, the sun's real bad, but I'm going to try my best. This is a Lowe's 5x8 trailer. Uh, the entire trailer is mesh like you see on the ramp here. And I put boards around the side to close that in and then build a platform and bolted to the mesh floor to uh, be able to haul mulch and to make the load handler tarp slide better. It wouldn't slide well on the uh, mesh, but it slides pretty well on the boards. So then that led to the next problem of the tailgate. You have to get rid of the tailgate. But of course you want the tailgate when you're loading something. So what I did, if we're going to be able to get this on camera, is the hinge this hinge is welded to the trailer itself this is welded onto the tailgate and it's a pin that slides in here same on the other side well originally this was over here and so what I had to do was grind it off of the trailer with an angle grinder, actually on the underneath side, grind it off so that it stayed with the tailgate. Then I was able to slide it off. The way they had it done was with, with these on opposite sides, from that side over there to this side, with these on opposite sides, it wouldn't allow the tailgate to slide, which is a good thing, but not if you want to remove it. So I ground this off of the frame of the trailer under here and slid the tailgate off. Then I took this and welded it back to the trailer on this side instead of this side. And what that allows, and I'm going to try to do this while maneuvering the camera here, but that now allows the tailgate to slide off. There we go. I'm just going to let it drop. I don't have anyone here to help me. But as you can see, it's sliding, and there we go. And there went the camera. But there it is. It slid off. Now you can see the pin there, and the pin there with leaves stuck in the grease. And again, this originally was turned this way so that that pin was facing that way. So now you can slide it off fairly easily. Another thing you have to do as you're hauling it with the tailgate on it, now that it can slide, just driving down the road, your tailgate will slide. So I just took a nut and welded right here so that when the tailgate is latched, it'll slide, but it'll hit that. It can't slide all the way to here. It would not slide completely off, but it was sliding far enough that I wasn't comfortable with where it was sitting on the edge of the pin. So by just welding this big nut on here, and you can use anything for a spacer, but by welding that on there, that keeps the tailgate from sliding too far and coming to the edge of the pin. So now with the tailgate removed, here's the Harbor Freight pickup truck load handler, and you just slide it onto the tailgate. And again, I apologize for the camera angles. But there. Now you see it just slid on. And then the straps, let's see here. The straps go around and come through a gap like so. and buckle in on both sides 
And there you have it, just that simple. So now you have the uh, load handler on the Lowe's trailer. And the uh, tailgate can just very simply be slid right back on when you're through and need the tailgate. So that's a very quick and simple video of the way we adapted the Harbor Freight pickup truck unloader to the Lowe's trailer. Easy to do. Uh, hardest part was uh, just the time it took to grind that uh, hinge pin off and reverse it. And another thing I did is I went underneath the trailer here and uh, bolted a piece of 2x6 because this is just a piece of angle iron and then a gap. By putting that there, it gave the uh, load handler something to clamp to when you run the strap around and pull it tight. So there you go. Now you will also have to make a new handle. The handle that comes with it is too long and will hit the ground. So you just use it for a pattern and make a shorter handle that you can turn without it hitting the ground and have an offset in it so it doesn't hit the tail light, just like the offset in the original one. So you just use it for a pattern and, and go from there. Works great, unloads 1,000 pounds of rock or dirt with, without straining. There are plenty of videos on YouTube showing it working, so I won't bother you with that. But there you go. That should hopefully answer the questions that quite a few of you asked me about how we adapted the uh, Harbor Freight load handler to the Lowe's trailer. And I'm sure it'll work on any other trailer as well. So, very short, very sweet. Hope everyone's staying safe and doing well during the pandemic craze. And uh, invite you to come back next time to the Dublin Farm. And we'll talk to you again real soon.